Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, so now here with a corner section in the Green Tree Mall, lots of space to move around. This is coming from doing farmers markets and events around town. Many, how does it feel to have your a place of your own here inside the mall? Very fun, um, overwhelming, fun, and exhilarating. Blessed. We're having a good time here. We're having a good time, <laughs> especially good early time. this morning. These sweets are keeping us up. You have like a full setup right here, and everything is like individually packaged yes. and kind of ready to go. And that yes. fits, I guess, when if you did farmers markets and stuff, yes. it was it was you didn't change much. Exactly, not at all. And of course, with COVID, I feel like prepackaged is a new norm. Absolutely. <laughs> and so we're doing a little making this morning. What are you fixing up for us? So now we're going to do some um, chocolate dip marshmallows. Wow. I mean, like, what can you not dip in chocolate, <laughs> Exactly. <right? laughs> Everything tastes good in chocolate. Okay. But this is actually my favorite chocolate. I always tell everybody I use a white uh, a vanilla chocolate base. It just tastes so much more okay. better. But um, with this process, we're just going to kind of dip this that in help the chocolate. Keep it on, it maybe. Keeps it on. And we'll let that sit and dry for a second. Okay. But we've already pre-dipped some, so they're pretty dry and kind okay. of sturdy there. Then we're going to dip these yummies in here. Oh and I gosh. cannot wait till fall, guys. I'm telling you, can we all say chocolate dip s'mores? Ooh. <laughs> I, was the, I was like, where is she going with yes, this? Yes, <laughs> chocolate dip s'mores. That makes sense. Get some of that excess off there. Wow. So while you're dipping and making these real aesthetically pleasing with the gold sprinkles and the gold oh, little yeah. handle, so cute. Um, talk to me a little bit about how you started your business. You baked for friends and family and stuff like yes. that, but the pandemic really launched you into this. It really did. Um, having to stay home with the kids and, of course, you needed an income going on. Mm -hmm. And all we could really do was walk around um, town, go to grocery stores. So... I started getting on Pinterest again, getting up some recipes. Wow. And here we are now. And look at all of this stuff. I mean, we've got peach cobbler <laughs> over here. Yes. And then these huge, massive brownies. What would you say is your best seller? You know, people tell me that and everything, after looking at the numbers every night, everything sells almost equally the really? same. It, it's, so, it's so crazy. And if I'm missing something like peach cobbler, People will come in, hey, where's the peach cobbler? Where's okay. the peach cobbler? And ironically, right now, I'm missing my cookies, and it's like the hot ticket. Where are your banana pudding cookies? Ooh. You cannot get banana pudding cookies nowhere else but here with me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And I'm just looking around at all this cute stuff. You've got big orders to fill. You're doing yes. something for a rec bar later. Yes. And then people can come visit you here at Green Tree Green Mall. Tree do Mall. you do any, like, custom types things, events? I do. Yes, custom uh, weddings, quinceañeras, birthdays, um, corporate, and, of course, awesome. Christmas is coming. So. All right. Right. Well, she's going to work on these marshmallows. Yes. And if you want to come visit her, she's here at Green Tree Mall. Guys, I don't know what I would try first. Probably going to be this, like, peanut butter <laughs> drizzled brownie. Mm. I mean. That's, Mo wants the brownie. So, so we'll buy the brownie, Alex, for Mo. The Everything looks really pretty. Mm -hmm. And those are great, like, party favors. Yes. You know, if you yes. want to get a kid's party. And so I bet she does orders for those, mm -hmm. too. Very good. All right, Alex, we'll see you soon.